listen, listen, she, she didn't showed up today. Yes, she did. You know what I'm saying? This is what you call black girl magic. <laughs> One day is curly, kinky, afro. The next day is straightening. And, you know, always fine as wine. But, um, you know, happy Valentine's Day. How you doing today? You know I had to come up on the scene and speak to my queens today because some of us going to lose our minds today. Mm -hmm. Some of us are going to forget who we are, that we are a queen and we, we represent queendom, have a queendom status every day, all day. Some of us going to forget. So I got to come up on here while I still got time to remind you. OK, because this is a this is a fact. This day, this weekend, it brings about a lot of insecurities a lot of confusion a lot of false love a lot of lying a lot of manipulation a lot of everything okay by the millions okay let me make sure you can hear me right by the millions can you hear that women are going to be giving their bodies to men in sex to a man who has not committed to them who really doesn't love them a man who really doesn't care about their well-being their future their life anything of that nature and they're going to be giving their bodies to them under this guise of it's Valentine's Day or it's love day. It's a lover's day. But in actuality, what's going to be going down tonight is a stone cold robbery. OK, it's just a moment of pleasure. A lot of women's bodies are just going to be another man's dopamine high, another man's pleasurable high just to get a good feeling. And you don't want to be that woman. Let, let me just say that you don't want to be that woman. Uh, for some, it's going to be a, a continued generational curse of not knowing your worth, not knowing your identity. And letting the man have you for the low, low, for absolutely nothing on a on an account of a day that is really cheap. You know what I'm saying? If, if I give you a gift and that means I love you. And now because you love me, let me give you the greatest gift that I have, which is me and my body. That's not an equal exchange. It ain't. It ain't. But I want to tell you or share with you the proper way of how to receive a gift. OK, so to keep you in your right kingdom, king, uh, queendom status. OK. If a guy gives you a gift today, what is a proper response to that? Do you give your body? Do you have sex with him and lose your entire mind? A man who ain't committed to me, no, committed to you? No, you don't do that. This is what you do. You say, thank you. Oh, that was very kind of you. Thank you so much. And you leave it at that. And you leave it at that. Okay. A gift is not an equal exchange with your body. It don't line up. It don't match up. And when you do that, you're basically saying a gift is all I'm worth. Some money, a date, a movie night, a dinner is all I'm worth. That's all it takes for you to have everything of me, to have everything that God sacrificed his entire life on the cross for. And that is so cheap. And let me tell you, girl, you ain't cheap. When God bought you on the cross, okay, he, he paid blood, a life for a life. And if a man wants you, he's going to have to pay a life for a life. He's going to have to lay down his entire life and say, I want to start a brand new life with you. And the only way you can do that is if you commit. That's what it means when you commit. I'm laying down my life so I can start a brand new life with you. And how do you know if a man is committed to you? Clean, let me tell you. You know he's committed to you when he commits to you, when he actually says I do to you before a judge or before a pastor, when you signed a marriage license, when you know legally it's, it's real. It's a real deal holy for you. Not a day sooner. So you don't do committed like activities like sex because sex is an act of commitment. You don't do that to a man you're not committed to because all you're doing is setting yourself up for emotional, physical, spiritual failure. OK, so I had to come up on the scene and remind some queens of their status because this day for some reason throws us off you know what i'm saying we get tied up in social media oh she got that oh he did that for her what about me maybe today is an, an, another day of reflection to realize that your validation does not come from a gift or from a man but it comes from your god it comes from your creator you have you're already established as beautiful you're already established as enough fine as wine you know <laughs> Because I'm fine as one. You're already established as that. And you don't need a human being to, to validate that. It's already done. Okay? You are worth the attention. You are worth the affection. You know, we do this. People like me, we do this every year. Because every year there is a young woman who does not know her worth. And so we have to come up on the scene. Get in between, you know, in between the ears. Get to her brain. 
before he tried to get in between. Mm -hmm. Men got to know their worth too. Yeah, but I'm talking to you, queen. So be encouraged today. And I'm going to go ahead and end this because I can continue on with my shenanigans. All right. Talk to you later. Don't play. Peace.